A high-tech van is making its way across Davidson County. It could mean freshly paved roads for certain areas. News Channel 5's John Quill Newland is live near downtown Nashville. And John Quill, what kind of technology are we talking about here? Yeah, Rory, we're talking about lasers and cameras that are going to be used to survey every single inch of the 2400 lane miles that spread out across Davidson County. Now, areas in and around the downtown loop will tend to get visited a little bit more often. This souped up van will serve as Hobart and Holly's seasonal home as they begin their summer job. Holly drives. Hobart is in charge of all the cameras and lasers. All right, it'll be our next right starting survey. Day to day, they may drive more than 200 miles. Data from less than 100 of those miles will be used to help Metro government spend their paving budget wisely. It's not so much the amount of money you save as the amount of additional work you can do for your given budget. Jacob Walters, the senior engineer for the company Metro hired to do the road survey. He has 18 years of experience. We started with film based vehicles. So 30, think 35 millimeter film. The technology has progressed to several cameras mounted on each corner of the van. It's forward, downward, side cameras, and rearward cameras that picks up all the images every 20 feet. And they also lasers that pick up any uh, distresses in the road. The data collected here will help show Metro government which roads in Davidson County need to be repaved, making sure its $35 million paving budget is spent in the best way. Interstate 440 tends to be one of the highways on the top of the list residents want to be repaved. That, however, is a state route. Uh, I know Ma Megan Berry is trying to push for us to get it paved, and, and sometimes we do conjunction and joint projects, but uh, that may be later on, but it definitely needs it. Now, the technology in those vans is also moving forward. Walter tells me he expects in a few years to use fully automated and even self-driving vehicles. In North Nashville, I'm John Newland, News Channel 5. John